All right. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Wherever in the world it is you are calling in from, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us today for this really exciting webinar. I am going to give everybody a few minutes to go ahead and get signed in. Sometimes Zoom asks you for a little update, so we're going to give everybody some time to sign in. But in the meantime, if you guys have been joining us on our webinars, you guys know what to do. I see some of you are already started. Uh, look for that Q&A section at the bottom of your screen and let us know where you are dialing in from, where you are joining us from. I see our number one person is already there, James in Valrico. Thank you so much, James, for joining us today. And I see some more of you are typing. Some of you are shy. Go ahead and find that Q&A at the bottom there. Let us know where you are joining us from. Sometimes we find out that people are just right uh, down the street from one another and they had no idea. So it's always nice to see where everyone is from. Uh, we have Greg here from Phoenix, Arizona. Topaz is in Georgia. Tony in North Carolina. We have Karen in Vegas. Hi, Karen. Thanks for joining us. We have a few more people at George. Hi, George in Delray Beach, Florida. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm seeing Tim in Oklahoma. Joe is in the UK. Richard is, wow, all the way from Australia. Thank you so much for joining us all the way from Australia, Richard. Robert in Columbus, Ohio. Brian in Sarasota. We have, I hope I'm pronouncing this correctly, Tadius is Tad. It says Tad here in Vancouver, British Columbia. All right, that's amazing. Thank you so much for joining us, Tad. And I see some more of you are just getting signed in there. Um, and Oh, Donna is in Lexington. Hi, Donna. Thanks for joining us. All right, we're going to go ahead and get started as everybody else is, is getting signed in here. We want to be respectful of everyone's time. And I'm going to go ahead and introduce my lovely guest host here, uh, Leslie Lawrence. Leslie, why don't you go ahead and let the people know a little bit about you and um, a little bit about your journey towards becoming a property consultant here with, at ECI. Oh, you are muted, Leslie. <laughs> Whoops, I did that because my dogs were barking in the background. Work from home, <laughs> so I forgot to unmute. They're calm now, so let's see how this goes. But Alrighty. yes, my name is Leslie Lawrence. I'm a property consultant with ECI Development. And my journey started, I was a born and raised Texas girl and I love to travel. And I came, I first went to Ambergris Key Belize back in March of 2018. And I fell in love with the island, the people. I enjoyed swimming with the sharks, which I know some people think that's crazy, but I was at such peace there. And so I went home and like a lot of people that travel there was trying to think, how do I go back? How do I you know, have a simpler life? And I literally went back to Texas and started making plans, sold everything I own and made the move to Belize, been there two and a half years. Uh, currently, I'm in Nicaragua today. I travel between some of our properties. So I've been spending some time here in Nicaragua, just got back from Belize. So um, yeah, I found ECI and I had known Rachel from the island and we struck up a conversation one night and she found out my background as a consultant in the States and the rest is history. Um, I'm enjoying you know, service, serving our customers and just experience, you know, helping them experience what I have and sharing those experiences with them because um, we're really here to be a resource to you. So we're excited to have you on the webinar today and um, we'll go from there. Awesome. Thank you so much, Leslie. And you're seeing another one of our uh, team members there, Rachel Jensen. She is not able to join us today, unfortunately. So you're stuck with Leslie and I, but don't worry, we'll try to make it as fun as possible for everybody. Um, and then uh, I'm also going to be your host today. My name is Ivan Levy. I am a born and raised Belizean, uh, excited to be able to showcase the best of Belize to everybody and excited to be able to welcome everybody to my country. If you guys do decide to become owners, head down, even for a little vacation, and would love to meet as many of you as possible um, and excited as I mentioned for the topic of today's webinar the branded Belize residences uh, this has been a topic that a lot of our clients and the people that we serve have been asking us to speak on um, just the idea behind having an international brand operating in the country what that does for tourism what that does for you as potential owners or, or even our current owners and what that is going to be looking like as the uh, the market and the destination progresses and moves 
this forward. So with that being said, I would also like to introduce everybody to some other members of the team behind the scenes that do a lot of great, great work for you guys. You get to see Rachel, me, Leslie um, on these webinars, but you don't get to see some other really heavy lifters here. And so um, you have Mike Cobb, who does join us from time to time on some of our webinars. He's our CEO and co-founder. Uh, Joel Nagel is our co-founder and legal advisor. And then you also have Patrick Hebert. He's our chief operating officer. Uh, you may have seen him in previous uh, webinars with Leslie. Uh, he does talk a lot about Nicaragua and is a very big advocate for that country. And then of course we have the lovely Valeria Espinosa. She is our vice president of operations. So again, just wanted to let everybody have a little sneak preview there of our executive team uh, who work behind the scenes and do a lot of the great work uh, that allows us to, uh, that allows us in the sales team and the marketing team to present these communities for everybody. And um, speaking of lovely communities, so here is a little snapshot for everyone. Um, those of you who may not uh, be joining us for regular webinars might not know, but ECI development works all across the Latin American region, all across the tropics. And we have several different communities, you know, something for everybody. Uh, and you can see right here on the screen, we have uh, everything from the branded residences that we're gonna be talking about today to some tropical tiny homes in Panama, Nicaragua, uh, Honduras, uh, and even here in Belize. We have residences throughout Nicaragua, as I mentioned. We have um, up and coming uh, communities in Mexico, Argentina, Costa Rica. And so there's just a lot going on um, in the region. We're very excited about that. We're excited to get the word out to everybody about what's going on here, how much is growing in popularity and the reasons why. Um, but let's get started today with the topic that we were uh, that we're, we're here all here for. It's talking about the beautiful country of Belize. And so one thing that I like to let everybody know, um, I, I come from a hospitality background. So whenever anyone's coming down to the country for the first time, they always ask me, you know, what, what is the country like? What, what, what can I expect in Belize? And the answer to that is a little bit of everything. Belize just has a little bit of everything, something for everybody. You have the islands where you can find those white sand beaches. You have on the mainland, it's a bit more of a, a forest, jungle, uh, a bit more rustic environment. Um, and, and it's more for the adventure traveler, but you still have some very nice beaches down south in locations like Placencia. Uh, you have the Mayan temples that you can go and visit. You can do cave tubing, zip lining. There's just so, so much to do in the country and you can never run out of things to do. It's, it's always such a fun thing uh, to enjoy here. So like I mentioned, there's, there's just so much to do. It's world renowned diving sites like the blue hole that you're seeing right there. Um, Belize also takes a very big uh, or, or very strong approach in uh, protecting our, our natural resources, the marine uh, environment, the jungles, all of that. So you'll find a lot of preserves both here uh, or out here on the islands and then also on the mainland. And for those of you who didn't know where Belize is, there's a little helpful map. It's right smack dab in the middle of Central America, right on the Caribbean. So we have the second largest barrier reef, thanks to our location there, second largest barrier reef in the world, uh, located right on the Caribbean Sea. So we're, we're centrally located very close proximity to the United States, which is one of the main reasons why it's such a popular destination here. Um, you know, you can catch a two hour flight from Houston, from Miami, two to three hours, and you're right in the country, two to three hours, and you can head right back. It's so easy to head down here um, and it's also so fun. So reasons to stay, reasons why everybody decides to come down, vacation and you know potentially become an owner, a resident here, uh, is that English is the official language. That's one thing that Belize has very uniquely uh, positioned itself with that we speak English. English is our first language, it is taught in schools. Um, and so it's very easy for you to come down, people from North America to come down and communicate with the locals, with, you know, and if you're at a store, if you're at a restaurant, um, it, it's just so easy. Um, and for in, when it comes to ownership, all of your documents are going to be in English. Everything, you know, when you're getting, if you decide to move down, you, you have your, your driver's license, everything's in English. So it just makes it so much easier um, to, to be able to get around town and communicate with everybody. Um, we have some strong banking laws and they're becoming even stronger um, as we're trying to, to become a, a stronger player in the region for the finance and banking sector. Uh, this is something that Belize has been working hard on over the past few years and there's still a lot of work to be done, but uh, it is a work in progress and, it, and we've come a very long way. It's another one of the attractive uh, benefits or reasons people are looking at the destination and at the region. 
And as I mentioned, it is very, very close to North America. It's very close to the United States and to Canada. And so travel to the region is so easy, so seamless and affordable. The flights are very, very much affordable. And every year you have new carriers, um, you know, creating routes through the destination. Uh, even if it's just to have a connecting flight, we're seeing more and more people coming in to the country. Um, and as you see that trend, as you see that growth in um, airspace and more people booking tickets to the region, that's a great indicator for you to know that the destination and the region is growing in popularity there. Um, we also have a growing economy, as I mentioned, is strongly dependent on tourism and agriculture at this point, um, but it has been growing and diversifying. So over the past decade, as you can see there on the screen, you, you have um, international hotel brands that have been showing interest here. And that's exactly what we're going to talk about today. Um, and, and as I mentioned, when you see these international brands, these international air carriers, these international hotel brands moving to a destination that's fairly unknown, You'd want to think, you know, these are very, these are multi-billion dollar corporations that operate all around the world. If they're deciding to, you know, put their resources, put their backing in a country um, like Belize or, or, you know, any, any destination that they choose to do business in, you know, they've done their due diligence and they're not going to do that if they don't think that it's going to be profitable for them. So, you know, you can tear, take a page out of their book and say, okay, if this, this international company, these, these worldwide brands are looking at Belize and thinking, you know, there's something there. That, that's something that you should keep an eye on. That's definitely something that that's an indication that there is there is value to the destination and value to the ownership opportunities there. Um, and then lastly, you have affordable real estate. As I mentioned, the, the market is still on that middle section of the investment curve. They're still growing. So you can expect to see appreciation uh, of your real estate and it is at an affordable price. Uh, to narrow it down a little bit further, we are coming to you from Ambergriski. That's where all of our uh, communities are located. And so that is the island that you're seeing right there on the screen. I hope you can see my cursor. So this is a zoomed in uh, picture of the entire island of Ambergriski. And this is the mainland of Belize there. And uh, you heard me mention the investment curve just a few seconds ago. And so this is what I was talking about. Belize is right there in the middle of what we call this uh, investment appreciation curve here. And what that means is that Belize is set right there where you can expect a moderate to very good uh, returns, cash flow from the rental space, but you're also going to find very affordable real estate that will appreciate over time. Towards the bottom of this curve, you're going to see uh, products that are not in a very developed market as yet. So we have countries like Nicaragua here. It's, it's still fairly unknown. There's still not that much buzz about the country yet. So you can expect that the ownership opportunities there are, are much uh, more affordable. The prices are a little bit lower. But over time, you're going to see just amazing exponential growth um, and, and in your appreciated value there. You know, you can purchase a property for 100000 uh, today. Ten years from now, it's going to be double in price uh, because it's going to start growing in popularity. People are going to hear about the destination. You're going to get tourists that are going to be heading down. Um, and so your, your, your residence just grows in value there. Now, towards the top of the curve in, in, in uh, markets that are already matured, like Pacific Costa Rica there in Panama, uh, you're going to find a lot of the opportunities to own there, but they're going to be a little bit more expensive. Why? Uh, that's because they're already cash flowing. They're already producing that regular consistent cash flow month after month, year after year. So you do not have to worry about that. So that is the difference there between the two um, you know, points in this investment curve is that on one end, you'll have affordable real estate that may not cash flow as well, but will see great appreciation. And then at the other end, you have uh, properties that are going to be a bit more on the expensive side, but are guaranteed to provide you cash flow. And so Belize being in the center uh, gives you the best of both worlds. You're going to find affordable real estate that will appreciate, provide you cash flow. And so it just gives you a, a more secure a, and a more uh, lucrative investment here for this country. And to compare what, what I mean about that with the, the appreciation there. So you can take a look here. Uh, we did a comparison for a 523 square foot residence in the Bahamas. And we all know back in the 80s and 90s, you know, Key West, the Bahamas, those were, those were the destinations. That's where everybody was for the summertime. And so those markets now over the years, over the past few decades, have already matured and are cash flowing. And that is why you see such a high price point there for a 500 square foot residence, you are paying $595,000. That doesn't include closing costs. It doesn't include your attorney's fees. That's just uh, the value of the residence there. 
Now, in comparison, you're going to be looking at something like the branded residences here and the Marriott. Uh, similar size, as, as a matter of fact, we have uh, residences that are a bit larger than 500 square feet. And look at the starting price there, under $400,000 for a branded Belize residence there. Um, and you're only receiving that because, as I mentioned, Belize is in the middle of that investment curve. The real estate is affordable, it will appreciate, and you can expect some moderate cash flow coming in for you. Um, so this is just a nice comparison that we like to give people just so that they understand fully um, what all that means, what it means to, to be in that middle section of the investment curve there. Uh, Leslie and I did go a lot more in detail about the country, talking about the different you know, misconceptions about real estate, uh, talking about the culture, the food, all of that good stuff. Uh, we did host a webinar specifically on that, uh, and you can request a free recording right there. You see that email address, webinar at ecidevelopment.com. Just go ahead and send an email and put in the subject line, Belize 101 recording, and one of our property consultants will be sending over uh, a recording link to you so that you can review all of the helpful information that Leslie and I presented on last week. Uh, but with all that being said, I'm going to hand over the reins to Leslie and she's going to talk to you about our first community, the Best Western Grand Bayman Gardens here in Belize. Leslie, the floor is yours. Perfect. Thank you, Ivan. So yes, the Best Western Grand Bayman Gardens. Let's just jump right in, see if I have control. Um, you'll see there just some different shots around the property. Um, I first was introduced to Grand Bayman and the pool there because I went to water aerobics there for forever. So I have, I have fond memories spending a lot of time in that pool. Um, and I will say they've done some major enhancements. It's very exciting to see the updates with the pool area and the pool bar. So um, the grounds there are beautiful. You can see over here to the left, just the lush you know, greenery and everything. So it's a really cool vibe. I will say it's a unique property because a lot of places on the island don't have all of the amenities. And they're at Grand Bay, Minima. they have tennis courts, they have a, a wonderful, just a full size gym and exercise um, equipment that's just, you know, uh, everything you could want and need. So that's pretty cool to have there on site. And um, the existing buildings are there, but we have a lot of new growth coming and that's what we're gonna talk about. So we're really excited about uh, the affiliation with Best Western as well. Okay, next slide. I don't think it's letting me move it. Okay, so the Grand Bayman Gardens, it's an exclusive growing community. Like I said, it's just a few blocks from the beach. So you can see there on the map where the beachfront is and literally it's just a couple minute walk um, back to the Grand Bayman property. So it's very close to town, which is another, you know, obviously a benefit because you wouldn't need a golf cart if you didn't want one. Um, you can just go straight up to the beach and walk across. I walked that beachfront every morning with my dogs and it's a beautiful um, location there on the island. So again, just off beach community for people really looking for that vibrancy of being there near town and having all of the amenities. Um, again, it's just touching base on the amenities we talked about. And um, it's just a unique affordable option on the island, which I think a lot of people are looking for, you know, from a renter standpoint, but also for people that are looking for that second, you know, vacation home or, or that spot, it's a great affordable um, location. And that kind of shows the layout there. You can see the tennis courts, again, the fitness center that I talked about, the pool area and the bar. Um, you've got all the, the ones marked with the deeper blue are the existing buildings. So A, C, D, and E. The fleet building is in construction right now. So it's a, a lot of fun watching that go up. It's making great progress. Galleon is our next building that we'll be launching here shortly. Um, and that's, we're gonna talk about that tonight because there's a few more options left in that building that you wanna jump in on before they start construction here soon. And then there's room for future growth. So I know we get a lot of questions. I think I already saw one today that you know, what if I'm not ready to buy right now? I'm maybe looking towards next year. Well, there will be opportunity because we still have some expanding growth here at Grand Baymans. And there's some of the renderings of the new buildings. So you saw some of the existing buildings in the previous photos. These are the uh, renderings for the new buildings that are coming up. Like I said, we have Fleet, Galleon, and then more to come in the future. So let's jump in with the corner studio, the wind seeker. So um, it starts at 99.9 and with the condo price, the furniture is 6,600. 
closing fees are about 8% of the condo. You're looking at a total of just under 115, which is amazing for a condo on an island in Belize. Um, the HOA is $150 per month. So I'm going to give you just a minute to kind of scan the floor plans. I know I'm one of those. I like to take in all the details. So you can see there it's a king size bed, which is awesome. You've got a nice balcony. Um, you've got the built-in kind of the um, closet area and the desk area over there. And then your uh, small kitchen area and then the bath. So it's everything you could need in that corner studio um, there at the Best Western. Okay, let's see. The next we've got the Spinnaker, which is the garden studio. And they're an interior of 349 square feet. First floor is starting at 129.9. You'll see there's a little bit difference in price on the second floor. So we have a premium on the floors because higher floors and first floors, we do see that from a rental standpoint that they are more popular. So we have those premiums. So just keep that in mind. I also like to talk about on our webinars because you may be watching this live, but there may be somebody that's watching this video in a year because it's out there on the internet. So we want to say that today it's June, what is the date? 29th of 2021. So if you're watching this at a later date, know that the pricing probably has changed. We do go up in pricing with our phases as they launch, which is good for the owners because guess what? Your value your value is going up on your condo. So that's a great thing. Um, so just keep in mind that. And again, HOAs on the Spinnaker is 175 uh, 50 per month. And you're looking at a total of just over 125,000 for that garden studio. Okay, next is the one bedroom, one bath, the uh, Genoa. So it's about 416 interior feet. Um, again, you've got that first and fourth floor with a little bit premium of 149.9. And you're seeing that some are sold out. So we're gonna probably, I hope we have the other screen in here, Ivan, we'll see in a minute, which shows the availability. So you'll see that we do have some availability still, but some of the floors are sold out. This one is total all in at 171,792. And the HOA for the one bedroom, one bath is 208 per month. And again, just look at the floor plan there. You again, have that outdoor balcony, the living dining area, once again, king size bed and um, everything you could want there. Okay, the two bedroom, two bath, uh, main cell. These went really fast. So you can see a lot of sold out on this one, but we do have the first floor available, 259.9, furniture package of 19.8, closing fees, your total all in just over 300,000 and your HOA is $382.50. So um, take a moment to peek there. Again, you can see the floor plans, king size bed, same thing, all the, the balcony is gonna be amazing, that outdoor space you definitely want. Um, so yeah, that is the two bedroom, two bath, main cell at the Best Western. Then we have the three bedroom, three bath. As you can see, we're just noting those are all sold out, um, but keep in mind because our next building will be the Harbor Building. And it will be very similar to the Galleon. So we did want to leave this in so you would know that there are available three bedrooms, three bathrooms that will come up in our next uh, building. Okay. Next is the schooner, the four bedroom, four bath. Again, they're all sold out here at the Galleon building, but we did want you to be able to see the layout and the floor plan because the harbor will be very similar. And so if you're looking for you know three or four bedroom options, just know that we will have those coming soon when we launch our harbor building. All right, and there's just um, some of the renderings. So you can see the options and what the insides, the interior is gonna look like. I love, I love the feel of this. It's just very sleek and clean, but um, very warm and inviting, I think. So it's gonna be a beautiful property and we're very excited for our new owners. Agreed, and Leslie, let me just go back a few slides see here to this area that you were talking about yes this one whoops no went too far back <laughs> show them those where the harbor's coming uh -huh, there we go so yes you mentioned harbor so yes if you are looking for much larger residences you want something that's maybe three four bedroom uh, we will have that available in the harbor building that's coming up next uh, but for now we only have the studio and one bedroom options available in the galleon uh, and those are perfect for someone just starting out into looking to get that rental uh, vacation home 
uh, is if this is your first investment, that corner studio at 99,000, that is excellent. As I mentioned, I came from a hospitality background primarily, and those we call those the lead room types. They're usually a bit smaller and are, are a bit more on the affordable side, but those lead room types are all actually the ones that cash flow the most. That's, um, you know, it's, it's at a more attainable price point. There's usually a little bit more in inventory. And, you know, whenever you're looking online, whenever you're booking on Expedia or booking.com, you know, they're only going to show you one price right there first. And you're going to say, that's the one I want. And when you click it, it's usually these lead room types that you're, that you're going to be getting. So those room categories that are a bit on the, on the smaller side of the, um, um, uh, with the size there, those are usually the ones that cash flow very, very well. Um, the larger uh, models there that you see um, are great for families, for groups. And we do get a lot of those. We get a lot of wedding groups that come down to the country, um, family retreats and things like that. So those larger models work perfectly for those. Uh, but another thing you mentioned earlier as well was the best Western designation and then the, the amenities that come with that, right? And so you guys can see here, we have a pool uh, that's gonna be on site or it is on site there with a pool bar as well. That's actually going through a bit of a remodeling at the moment. It's going to look really, really nice it's going to have a swim up bar and it's going to just be amazing for our best western customers there um, there is a fitness center on site as well which is uh believe it or not not something that you'll find commonly here in belize not many of the resorts have fitness centers on site and so that is another benefit there and then for those sporty outdoorsy people we have a tennis and basketball court as well there um, located on site uh, but this is just a master plan here. I wanted everybody to take a look at just how big the community is going to be. The, the property itself is just over six acres. Uh, and then you can see there, like Leslie mentioned, there's just so much more room for growth um, with the new buildings that are coming on there. So if you are looking at potentially making your investment uh, or, or your purchase uh, later on, perhaps next year, don't worry, Grand Bayman Gardens is going to be uh, having availability for you. And so um, just keep that in mind, make sure you stay in touch and we will be uh, making sure that you receive that inventory and that availability regularly. Um, the other thing that I wanted to point out was um, for, uh, like I mentioned, so for these studios, you do have two different studio models here. And I just wanted to make sure that everybody was able to note that. So these corner models here that you're seeing, the wind seeker are actually these ones here on the side of these renderings. I hope you can see my cursor. So those are the units here on the side. Notice there's only one on the ground floor, uh, the, the third floor here and on the fifth floor at the top. Um, again, as, as Leslie mentioned, that is strategic. That is for cash flow purposes. Again, these uh, are the floors that we've generally seen receive more interest for that rental market. So if you are doing, you are making your purchase strictly for that rental uh, revenue, you just want to be receiving your checks uh, every end of the month. Uh, these would be the, the, the residences that I would recommend, either a wind seeker or Another studio model like the Spinnaker is also a good one here because it also has that lock-off feature that allows it to join up with a Genoa, which creates this two-bedroom model here. So that's another uh, added benefit here is that these residences all have lock-off features. So even if you know someone calls in and wants to book a three-bedroom uh, mizzen, uh, then and, and you know obviously they're, they're, you'd have these lock-offs available. They're able to combine different rooms uh, or residences in order to provide that layout for the customer, which again just adds more uh, rental revenue for you. It just gives you another avenue to be receiving rental revenue. You won't only be getting that from the couples or the single travelers you're also going to be receiving the revenue from groups as well. Um, and with that, we're going to jump into that availability chart that Leslie mentioned. So go ahead, Leslie, and let everybody know what is available on each of these floors. Perfect. Yes, thank you. So you'll see there on floor one, we have a few units still available, 100, site 104 and 105. And then on floor two, we have 200 and 203 available. So uh, again, if this is something that you're curious about and interested about, we'll talk about later on how you can put your uh, reservation form in to reserve one of these. If you see a location you know you want, then I would highly suggest getting that reservation form in as soon as possible with your refundable deposit. And we'll go through all of that at the end as well on how to secure that. But that's the availability on floor one and floor two. And then let's go and see what we have on floor three. You'll see there um, we have unit 300 and 301 and on floor four, 400 and 401 are now available. Okay, and again, like we said, all of floor five is completely sold out. 
So this is exciting. We had tremendous response when we launched these. Um, they, everything was reserved pretty much immediately. We had a few come back available, you know, life and circumstances changes, but I know these will go fast as well and we'll be starting construction soon. So we're really excited about the value. Yeah, that, that's right, Leslie. These will definitely be going fast. So if you are seriously considering ownership of branded, uh, of branded Belize residents, um, you know, these are perfect for someone just starting out. Uh, with their ownership journey. So please, please send us an email webinar at ECI Development. Let us know which uh, residents you're interested in. And then we can put you in touch with a property consultant that can give you all the information so that you can determine if it's the right move for you. But um, yeah, I, I definitely encourage you if you have an interest, please reach out um, because these residences will not be available for much longer. Uh, we don't anticipate there. And then we have some uh, residency information here as well. That's another popular um, topic there. Um, you can obtain permanent residency here in the country. And Leslie, why don't you tell us a little bit more about these different programs here? Yes, so you can obtain permanent residency any age. You must live in the country for at least a year, less 14 days. So if you have to leave during that year, you do have 14 days as all for that. Um, you can work in the country with your permanent residency and it can lead to a passport after five years. Then in Belize, you also have what's called the investor residency. So it's 250,000 invested in the country. You can add dependents to that. Um, there's no need to live in the country and it can lead to citizenship. So our recommendation really is to pair this up with a condo at Grand Bayman under the Best Western Rental Program. Um, and then another option that you have is the QRP. A lot of people have questions with this because they've heard about it. It's called the Qualified Retired Persons Program. It's 45 plus years. So I, I qualify for that. I'm gonna own up to that. Um, you have to be over 45 years old. You spend 30 days a year in the country. You can bring in items duty-free. You cannot, again, I'm gonna stress this, cannot work in the country due to the retiree title. So keep that in mind, because a lot of people think, oh, can I do QRP, but could I start a side business? No, you cannot work if you come in as QRP. So those are the different options you have currently for Belize to gain residency. And this one just really goes over the return on investment. I know it's a little bit small, so um, we'll just kind of highlight a few things. But again, let us know if you, you know, obviously want to see the different numbers. We can run it based on the financing options or if you're a cash purchase and based on the model that you like. And we can send that to you via email and then have that discussion. Um, but you'll see here this one's based on a one bedroom model with 50% financing at a 4.9% interest on a five year term. Um, again, we show the industry standard case versus a conservative case. We like to show both. And when we say conservative, we're very conservative, um, just managing those expectations. So this one's showing an occupancy in the industry standard of 60% um, versus the conservative is showing an occupancy rate of 53%. And then if you'll go down, you'll kind of see, obviously, we've got all the different annual expenses that would be incurred, the utilities that are there, all the annual owner expenses. Um, down to your bottom line, so you see the year one um, ROI net of all cost and mortgage payments is looking at about an 8.85% it looks like, and year 10 is just over 15%, and that's on the industry standard case. And then we have our conservative on this one bedroom, that's uh, ROI net is 5.9 on the conservative, and a year 10 on 11%. So again, we can um, tweak that on the model and if you're cash purchase or financing and go through those numbers more in detail with you, okay? All right, thank you so much, Leslie, for that. Uh, very, very, very informative. Uh, and yes, like Leslie mentioned, everybody, if you are interested in seeing the ROI charts, um, please let us know. Again, the email is webinar at ecidevelopment.com. Uh, if you're interested in seeing the return on investment charts for the Best Western Grand Bayman Gardens, we'd be happy to send that along to you. Uh, again, just to make sure that this is the right move for you, that you are aware of uh, what the return is going to look like and you would like to move forward, uh, we'd be happy to help make you an owner of the Best Western. Uh, but now we're going to go into another of our branded Belize residence communities here, the Belize Marriott Residences. This has been uh, in the works for some time now. We're very excited um, to begin actually moving forward along with that. So I'm going to go ahead and get us started here and give everybody a brief overview 
about what this community is going to be. So it's going to be uh, the largest single standing structure uh, on the island. Uh, it's going to feature oceanfront pools, a rooftop sunset lounge, uh, a lot of other amenities there that you can see that, of course, uh, you know, come with that Marriott name. Whenever you hear that, you're thinking very luxurious, very high end. And that is what we're trying to deliver here. And that's what we're going to deliver uh, for our clients and the people that we serve. Uh, this this, this uh, development is going to feature so many new things that the island, the country, just hasn't had in a long time. Um, spacious conference rooms where you can host very, very large conferences. Uh, right now, it's, it's limited to a little bit smaller groups. Um, we'll have our resort dock there. P the owners are able to, to park their, their, their boats there and moor their boats there. Um, it'll have retail luxury shops, clothing, chocolate stores, things of that nature, little gift shops as well. Um, so this is really going to have everything that you need, one-stop solution uh, for your trip down to Belize. If you want to enjoy the best of Belize, the Belize Marriott residences, uh, that's going to be the number one uh, spot for everybody in the future. And so we did want to give everybody sort of a look and feel of how everything is going to be uh, designed. So these are some uh, inspirational images here for everybody to get an idea um, of what the interior decor is going to be looking like. Uh, again, very sophisticated design, very modern, very elegant, but still very clean and somewhat, somewhat simple. Just adding that touch of luxury there is what we're looking at. So you can see here the different finishes for the tiling, the chairs, um, again, very luxurious. Once you're seeing the teak furniture is being used, um, that, just has, that just adds another layer of luxury to it there with some rattan furniture as well. So it's definitely going to be a beautiful, beautiful uh, community. As you can see there, so it's going to have just about 200 keys uh, in, the, in the resort itself, five floors total. Uh, but something that is very unique about this specific community that I wanted to mention is that uh, despite having about 200 keys or 200 individual condominium residences, um, ECI will be retaining 60% of the availability of these residences. What does that mean? So of the total amount there, we are going to be retaining the vast majority, 60%, as I mentioned, and offering the remainder for private ownership. And so as you can see there, 57 of the residences are available for private ownership. 53 have been reserved or sold. Um, and this just adds, again, another level of security for you. And so think about it this way. Um, you know, we, we provide you with these ROI charts. You are able to see how much returns are coming in. And we get this question a lot. If, if the residences, if these condos are going to cash flow so well, you know, why don't you just hold on to them? Why don't you just, you know, build your resort and then just have them cash flowing. And that is an excellent, excellent point that has been brought up by many people. And so you're seeing now we're putting our money where our mouth is. We are retaining the vast majority of these residences specifically for that purpose. We expect them to cash flow um, with that Marriott backing, with all the research that we've been doing. We expect them to cash flow exponentially. And so that revenue is just going to stay on for our ECI shareholders to be reaping the benefits for. And then we're opening the floor for private ownership owners as well to be able to benefit from the, the Marriott brand there as well. So that just, again, adds another layer of, of confidence for you as an owner to know that the developer is, uh, you know, retaining the majority of the residences. We believe in what we're saying. Uh, we believe in the brand of Marriott, and we believe that this property and this development is going to be an incredibly lucrative and, and profitable one for you. Um, but you can see right there, we have availability of studios uh, and one bedrooms with lock-offs that can then provide you with two bedroom and three bedroom layouts. Uh, we're gonna get into that a little bit here. So first let's start off with the courtyard studios. Uh, you will notice that these are, again, that's the lead category that I mentioned earlier. Uh, so these ones are a little bit smaller and uh, they uh, you'll notice they do not have that traditional balcony where you're able to come outside. It's more of that French balcony, very small. You're just able to open up the doors there and allow for some fresh Caribbean breeze to come in. Uh, but these are on the smaller side. So this is a studio, a courtyard residence. They're starting at $299 plus furniture and closing fees. Uh, then you move over to another one of our more popular studios here is the Emperor Residence. Uh, this one does have a terrace there. They all look out towards the Caribbean Sea. This is something I wanted to mention. All of our residences have a view of the Caribbean Sea there. Uh, and these are starting at just under 360,000. 
All right, next we have the Duke residence. And so you'll notice these all are studios, but they just have slight little variations in the layout there. And um, as we move forward in the floor plans, you'll notice that that makes a little bit more sense as they expand with those lock off features. So you'll notice here the Duke residence is starting at 340,000 uh, and features the two queen size beds there. Again, variation for that rental market we're expecting to be coming. Uh, and we want to make sure that we have all these amenities, these options available uh, to serve that rental market there. Uh, next is the Crown Residence, a little bit larger, a different layout there. I love this walk-in closet here that leads into the bathroom. That's just a very nice little touch there. But again, this is another one of the studios that are available starting at just under 410,000 there, plus furniture and closing costs. And now you will see the princess residences. Uh, so like I mentioned, I'll, I'll take a step back here. So notice these residences here, like the Duke, they have the two queen size beds. Uh, the crown residence that you're seeing here, as well as the princess, will have that one king sized bed. And so the, just little variations there on the names. Um, and then in, depending on the location of where the residence is uh, in the building itself, you'll see some, some slight changes there. But overall, um, the layouts remain the same. Um, it's just slight changes there with perhaps the bedding or the, the direction of the view itself. All right, now remember I mentioned that those you had those lock off features, right? So you have here a queen residence, which is a true one bedroom, one and a half bath residence. This is starting at just under 600,000. Uh, and you'll notice it's much, much larger there. So you're seeing this is the main entrance uh, that leads into the kitchen and the great room. You have your master bedroom again, and then your master bath. But notice what happens once we decide to move over to a two bedroom model. Uh, oh, oh, sorry, one more one bedroom residence here that we have to show you guys. So we have the Prince residence here. These are the corner um, residences. Um, and as you can see here, so you have your main entrance leads into the, um, the, the bath there, master bath and into the master bedroom, which also has access from the great room and there through the terrace. This one bedroom is also at 600,000 uh, plus furniture and closing. Um, now let's get into the two bedroom models there, which is the King residence. So notice what happens uh, once you switch over from the queen here, notice, notice what this space back here now has another studio. And what happens is that you are then purchasing two individual residences with that lock off feature. And you are combining them to create this two and a half bedroom, one and a half bath uh, residence there. Um, and the beauty of that, again, serving the rental market, whenever you have groups, I cannot tell you how many times in the past we've had groups that have requested, you know, three, four, five, six bedroom, um, you know, residences, and you don't have, um, you know, villas and, and residences like that here in Belize. And so having this lock off feature is excellent if you're going to be putting your residence in the rental market you're not only going to be getting like i mentioned those single and and couples traveling you're going to get those big families those big groups that are coming down and and need these larger residences so you can see here um the the other additional benefit is that you can live in one and rent out the other so you you do have the best of both worlds here when it comes to ownership opportunities um, at the belize marriott so the king residences as you're seeing here they start at just under 760,000 US dollars plus furniture and closing. Uh, but again, you, you just have so many different options on what you can do, live in one, rent the other, rent them both, um, keep one reserved as your vacation home for whenever you're, you're gonna be heading down, you know, from time to time, um, you know, the, the, the world really is your oyster when it comes to ownership opportunities here um, at the Belize Marriott. Uh, and here we have the creme de la creme, which is our Windsor residences. So these are the larger three and a half bedroom, uh, three bedrooms, sorry, residences with lockout features. Um, you'll have two different, two separate terraces. I'll point those out here. I hope you can see my cursor. Um, and they all, like I mentioned, will have ocean front views. They all look out directly to the Caribbean Sea there. And this one is starting at just over a million dollars there. You'll have a million dollar branded Belize residence uh, with all the amenities, all the services, all the finishes to match um, everyone. This is, this is, these are the, the, top residences um, available for ownership in Belize at this moment. Um, and as I mentioned, they are expected to cash flow very, very well. 
And this is just an overview. Again, we're going to go through all the individual floors here, just so you guys get an idea of the master development uh, and see all of those different amenities that I mentioned there. So guys, this is going to be a huge, huge building. On the first floor, we'll only have residences available nearby the pool there. Uh, towards the, the, the left of the building if you're facing the water. Uh, but you can see towards the right of the structure, everything else that is available on the first floor. As I mentioned, you'll have a, a very large ballroom, commercial spaces that'll have stores. Um, you know, you'll have different meeting rooms here as well. Uh, and another thing to point out is that because we'll have two pools, one is going to be available for everybody and then one is specifically an adults only pool as well. All right, here is the second floor. So as you can see, there's more residences that are available um, here. And you'll see that the spa is located there on the second floor. And then we have some more residences that become available. Um, and so once, if, you, if you'd like to see the availability for different residences um, that you'd like to own, we can send you the brochure and you can take a look at that and see uh, all the different floor plans there. But you can see here's an example of a courtyard suite. Here is a prince residence, again, the one bedroom. Uh, towards the front here is where you'll find the queen residences. Those one bedroom and two bedroom residences will be located here towards the front. Again, guaranteeing you that prime real estate, that prime view right there. All right, here's the fourth floor, again, very similar to the third floor. And then the top floor there with the Windsor residence located right here. That's the penthouse uh, suite that's going to be available, the presidential suite for uh, those high roller bookers once we can get them uh, interested in the destination coming down through that Marriott Bonvoy program of theirs. Um, we're definitely going to have a lot of new uh, tourism coming to the country. And that's something that we're very, very excited about the name Marriott, what that brings for the country and the level of, of service that will elevate the country itself in terms of the tourism here. All right, and now I have a special announcement to make. So as I mentioned, we have really been working hard at uh, developing this Marriott community for you, really working hard behind the scenes. As I mentioned, Patrick, Joel, Mike, Valeria, Rachel have really been doing so much legwork like behind the scenes. And so we are pleased to finally announce that the breaking ground of the Marriott residences is, is slated firmly for the end of 2021. Guys, super, super exciting information. We're just working on some final details with Marriott International, um, with, our, with our legal team here. Um, but, but this is just so exciting uh, it, to, to be able to say that we're going to start construction this year and owners can now start seeing the buildings going up, start seeing everything being developed. It's just going to be so exciting and so, so thrilling for everybody. So we did want to give everybody just that sneak little preview there, that little um, tidbit. So everybody is excited about this as much as we are. Um, you know, we've, we've had a lot of people express interest over time and, and they've, you know, not wanted to move forward because of the, the, the schedule there for construction, but we're finally able to let everyone know that it is happening. And if you are interested in moving forward with owning your little piece of Belize, your slice of paradise, now is the time to do so. All right, and how can you take the next steps in becoming a owner of your branded Belize residence? Uh, Leslie, why don't you walk us through some of these highlights here and then give everybody some details about how they get started with ownership of their property uh, in Belize. Absolutely. First, I want to say I'm just as excited. I was sitting there wanting to like have a drum roll or something. For the <laughs> but um, I'm, a, I'm a proud Marriott Bonvoy person myself and from my longtime corporate career. So um, we're very excited for the opportunity. I know it's going to be great for all of those Marriott uh, reward members that are ready to come to Belize. So again, let's just kind of go through the ownership options and what that looks like. So um, we do a cash payment during construction. So for Grand Bayman, we now have a $2,500 initial refundable deposit. So um, again, that's how you put in that reservation. If you saw a, you know, a home site that was just perfect for you um, and the floor plans that we went through, then let's get your reservation form in and reserve that with your $2,500 initial refundable deposit. What happens in, because a lot of people, you know, they don't know what that means exactly. What that means is we reserve your spot at that time, then we're able to, you know, visit with you more, answer your questions. Um, we get some paperwork to you for to review, and then you have that time to decide, is this right for me? Is it the right fit? But it does reserve that unit that you really think is your, your dream destination. 
Um, and at that point, if it's not, you can obviously get your deposit back minus a 10% admin fee. So super simple. Um, we try to, you know, make it as easy for you during the process. Um, for the Marriott residence, it's a little bit different, obviously different, you know, level. So it's a $10,000 initial refundable deposit. And then again, after that, you'll have, once we get the legal paperwork to you, you have seven business days, review it. Usually with my customers, I say, take the seven days, review the final paperwork, and then let's jump on a Zoom meeting and really go through all the questions because you're going to have questions. And um, I'm one of those when I'm dealing with my customers, I want you to make the best decision for you because we want happy owners and we want to make sure all the questions are answered at the beginning because it's just a smoother process for everyone. And then at that point, um, once you say, yes, I'm excited, this is the right choice for me, let's move forward. Then at that point, our accounting team will invoice you for that first first 50% less the deposit due with paperwork. Um, then it's 20% due when the foundation is complete, 20% due when the walls are up and 10% when uh, plus closing when the home is complete. So that's kind of the process. Now we do have options, we have financing. So if you're interested in financing, then reach out to your property consultant. If you don't know who your property consultant is, you may be new to the ECI family, then we will um, assign you a property consultant and they'll start having conversations with you. Um, so there are some financing options available. Uh, we accept cryptocurrency, which has been very exciting because I found, you know, I'm learning a lot about crypto, but I'm finding that very few developers and even in real estate that crypto is accepted. So um, we've had a warm welcome from the crypto community. So we do have options there. You'll see we accept multiple cryptocurrencies. So that's exciting for us. Um, you know, precious metals, gold bullion, contact us for more info on that. I've had a client, I worked with that for the first time. So I learned about how that process works and it was uh, streamlined and easy and everyone was happy in the end. Um, Self-directed IRA, again, just inquire for more details on that as well. And we can discuss that. Thanks so much, Leslie. And yeah, as you can see, everybody, there's just so many different avenues you can take. Um, you know, contact us, let us know what you're thinking. Let us know if you have any concerns, we're here to help. Um, and then we can provide you with different options that you probably didn't even realize. Like, like Leslie mentioned, cryptocurrency is something that not many people uh, know that you can own real estate with that. Um, so that might have been something you, you, you weren't thinking of. You have some Bitcoin, you, you invested early and you have some Bitcoin laying around and you might want to put it to work for you. This is an excellent excellent choice for you to, to start seeing some returns there. So, um, you know, contact us, let us know what it is that, that you'd like to do, what your goals are, uh, and let us help you with that and accomplishing all of those goals. Uh, as you guys know, we do uh, like to provide you with as many resources as possible, again, to help you make the right decision for you, make sure that you understand what it is uh, that this opportunity is all about. And so first, we'd like to recommend that you um, request a copy of the Belize Handbook. And so this is a free resource for you. It's a white paper that's going to have all the information about Belize going down from the culture, the language, the finances, um, you know, the economy, everything and anything that you need to know about the country of Belize is going to be in this handbook. So again, send us an email, webinar at ecidevelopment.com, request your free copy, and we will send it right over. And then we wanted to give everybody a snapshot of who they will be speaking to there. So this is our all-star sales team here. You're seeing different names that you have Katie, Leslie, myself, you have Andrea, Sar Sarita or Sarah, uh, Christy, Joe, Gian, Betsy, Savannah, Natalie, and Megan. These are going to be the people that you're going to be liaising with uh, and having those conversations about, you know, what the next steps are, what the country is like. Um, they're going to be able to send you pictures. They'll provide you with the, the ROI charts that we mentioned, just any and everything that you need to make the, the next steps or, or to decide on what is going to be the right move for you. These are your, this is your team right here. These are the people that are going to help you along with that process there. So you just want to get to give everybody, you know, if you see these names popping up, here's some pictures of everybody so you can put a name uh, or a face to the name there. All right, and with that, we would like to open the floor to your questions. I see a lot of them have been coming in. So what I'm gonna do is take a look here and see what everybody is asking. I requested some info. So John is saying I requested some info on the Tiny Homes Project, but haven't heard back. So John, if that is for the test community here in Belize as well, um, go ahead and, and shoot us an, an email there. Or actually I can pull, if you, if you wouldn't mind, I'm able to, to see your email address here. I can definitely reach out to you and give you some information about that. But um, what John is referring to is our tiny eco-friendly uh, community also here in Belize. Um, and those, uh, the first phase has sold 
sold out. The first phase of 21 homes has sold out. We are accepting names for the wait list in phase two, uh, but those are starting at 199,000 plus closing and furniture. And we're gonna have a mix of over the water and on the land homes there. So if anybody has any questions about that, you can still use that same email there, webinar at ecidevelopment.com. Um, and then we will reach out. But John, I will be in touch. Um, or I, what I'll do is I'll also uh, see if your property consultant um, has reached out. Do check your, your spam folders, guys, or your junk mail. Uh, we do end up there sometimes. So do just double check that and make sure. But John, we will be getting that information over to you ASAP. Um, Topaz, excellent question. Is Galleon building located closer to the beach than Grand Bayman? So Galleon, the Galleon building is within the Grand Bayman Gardens community. So it's just an additional building as we're going through developing the community. Um, in some ways it is a little bit closer, yes, to the beach, but you know, it's, it's not that much closer than all of the buildings there. It's just, uh, you know, located um, a little closer to the beach side there. But um, you, you, the, the Grand Bayman Gardens is an off beach property. We do like to let everybody know that it is is just a couple blocks or three blocks from the beach, um, but it is not beachfront. You do not have sea or ocean views. Although um, on the bay side, which is on the other side of the island, you are definitely able to look out there um, from the second, third floor and see gorgeous views of the bay. Amazing sunsets, amazing unbeatable sunsets there yeah. at the Grand Bayman Gardens. That's something we definitely didn't really highlight or talk about, but on these new buildings, they're going to have beautiful rooftop terraces, so the sunsets are going to be remarkable. Um, like he said, when you're sitting there and looking out onto the lagoon side, it's spectacular. Um, and I will say, I wish, if you know, reach out to us, we can send you some video, because I know it's hard when you're not there, or you haven't been there, and you can't visual, I'm, I'm a very visual person, I have to see it, kind of, you know, to believe it kind of person, but when you're there on the Grand Bayman property, I had uh, done some video footage for one of my clients who has invested in the Galleon building, and I was able to, you know, show them, okay, here's where I am in my golf cart, and I turned the camera around, and from where I was sitting right there on the Grand Bayman property, you can see the water right in front of you, which will actually be where our Marriott Beachfront property is going. Um, so it's a, when I say a very quick walk, it's a very quick walk to the beach. But um, again, your property consultant can share photos and videos and even FaceTime with you so you can kind of get a feel and walk through the community. Um, you know, it's a great world that we live in right now with the digital capabilities where you can kind of be there in a way and walk through the community and your property consultant, I know, would be happy to do that for you. Agreed. Indeed. Indeed. Um, and I'm seeing another excellent question here from Randy. Has construction begun on these? When will they be available to rent? So great question. Um, if we're talking about the Best Western, so we have the fleet building that is already under construction right now. We're just finishing the third floor of the, of the building itself, and that goes up to the fourth floor. Um, and so that building is slated to be completed later on this year. We're expecting somewhere around September or October to have that finalized. And at that point, we will have, you know, a, a ribbon cutting ceremony. We like to invite the owners to come down uh, and have a little party, a little get together on the rooftop deck there. Um, but uh, that is for fleet. Now, Galleon is slated to begin construction uh, at the end of the summer here. So in August, September as well, around that area. Uh, once we begin construction, we do like to let owners know it is about a nine to 12 month build period around there, just depending on getting materials out here to the island um, and different things like that. That can play a factor in the timeline there. But we do like to let everybody know it is about a nine to 12 month build period. Um, and then thereafter, they are released, of course, the owners, uh, you, you come down, you, you handle all the final paperwork, you, you start the process of, of the title transfer. Um, and at that point, you then decide if you want to put your residence in the rental market, uh, or you just have to, or you'd like to leave it as your, your private residence there, um, you know, whatever you choose. So that is, um, I hope that answers your question there, Randy. Um, Henry is asking the same question. So when do you plan to release the properties to the owners? So like I mentioned, as soon as the construction is completed, um, final 10% payment is made, you receive your keys, you start the title transfer process at that point. Um, you know, the residence is handed over to you at that ribbon cutting ceremony, as I mentioned. Um, and, and you can choose to live your, your, your best beach life here in Belize or uh, rent your residence out. You know, the choice is yours at that point. Um, see here. 
Lynn, excellent question, and I'm glad you asked that. So how prevalent are hurricanes there? So we are located in sort of the hurricane belt here, and, and um, hurricane season has been expanded um, uh, to include a, an additional few weeks there. Um, but we do not, or we have not had a major hurricane pass through here for the last couple of years. Um, you know, you do get your tropical storms that come in from time to time. But the reason why I mentioned that this is an excellent question is because, again, when you're, when you're looking at buying property, owning property overseas, these are the kinds of questions that you should be asking. You know, these are the, the kinds of things that you wouldn't think about asking, um, you know, if you're buying property in your home country, perhaps it, it's just out of the box questions and the weather implications are definitely a plus. Um, to combat that, what we have worked on is we make sure that all of our buildings, all of our construction is done to category four well, standards. So it can withstand up to category four force winds. Um, and that's, we're talking about the windows, the, the buildings themselves, we make sure that they're able to withstand up to category four. Um, and again, we have not even had a category one that passed through very recently. And so we do not expect that to happen. But of course, again, being in the tropics, being in the region, that is, uh, that is a very valid concern. And so we do have um, contingency plans for that to make sure that it does not damage the building, um, it does not damage your residence. Uh, in addition to that, all of the communities also have HOAs in place, homeowners associations, and uh, part of your HOA fee every single month goes towards a reserve fund. So if there's ever any structural damage or anything like that on the exterior of the building, you still have a reserve fund um, that is going to pay for those repairs and things like that. So you do have another safety net there um, to consider. Um, I'm seeing, what is this one, Maria? How long do I have to buy in the... How long do I have to buy in Belize at the Best Western? I'm very interested and can't buy till next year. Okay, Maria. So excellent question. And so as we mentioned, you, you, you the, the community is still growing. It's still developing. Um, we still have a lot more room for growth. And what uh, what we try to do or what we, we, we do with our residences as we move forward in the different buildings is we listen to what the market needs. Uh, and you, if you do head down and you come down to, to see the, the community, you'll notice that the different residences as the buildings progress, the layouts of the rooms are different. Different. the styles of the buildings are different, the sizes are different. And the reason for that is because, as I mentioned, we listen to what the market wants. If we're seeing that there's a lot of group travelers, there's a lot of single travelers, if there's people that are more interested in long-term rentals, we try to craft and create product for that um, consumer. And so as we move forward with the Galleon, with Harbor Islander and so on, you're gonna have a lot more opportunities um, for, for ownership here. And so don't worry if it's not, um, if it's not possible for you to do right now, uh, just keep in touch, send us an email, have a property consultant reach out to you, and then we can make sure that you're receiving the information as it's being um, aggregated. And I'm seeing that we are just at the top of the hour there. We try to be respectful of everybody's time. So I'm sorry if I did not get to your questions. What I'm going to do is um, take copies of your questions and see who your property consultant is. We'll pass along those questions over to them and make sure that they're answering them for you. So they're going to reach out to you via email um, and answer those questions for you. So you can uh, move forward with that conversation. So before we head out, Leslie, any final words for everybody? No, I just wanna say thank you for spending this hour with us. And just a reminder, we are here to be a resource to you. So some people are like, oh, I'm asking too many questions. I say, no, no <laughs> never ask too many questions. That's what we're here for. So keep them coming. We want all of your questions answered so you can do your research and due diligence on the country and on the property. Um, we want you to again find your best fit solution for you and for your family whether it's for a lifestyle um, change in your life or from an investment standpoint again we're just here to be a resource to you so reach out and ask those questions and we'll do what we can to uh, get all your questions answered in a timely manner we have been kind of slammed lately so i like to tell people that just bear with us and if we get lost in email please reach out to us you know via text email whatsapp there's so many ways to connect nowadays so just um, let's keep that communication going and we'll work through everything. But um, again, thank you for joining us and we look forward to finding the best solution for you. Thank you, Leslie. And thank you everybody again for joining us. As I mentioned, we're gonna put you in touch with a property consultant. If you don't have one, we're gonna get you assigned to somebody to make sure that your, your questions are being answered. Um, and then you will be receiving a follow-up email later today that's gonna to have a link to the recording of this presentation. If you joined us a little too late or you just wanna review some of the information over, um, you're gonna receive a link to that as well as an invitation to uh, next week's webinar. And so uh, to Leslie's point, 
if you feel like you're asking 10, 20, 30, 50 questions, bring all of them. Next week, we're actually going to have a dedicated webinar specifically for your questions. So we're going to have um, Rachel Jensen, who's our Vice President of Sales and Marketing, Mike Cobb, our CEO, and Patrick Hebert, um, our COO. Uh, they're all going to be uh, answering any and all your questions that you guys have about the Marriott, about the Best Western, about the Lees, about investing overseas, really any and everything that you can think about. Um, we're going to send you guys the invitation for that, and I hope to see as many of you on for that presentation as well. Uh, it's going to be a great one. But uh, once again, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, everybody, for your interest. Thank you so much for being here live with us. Um, and we look forward to speaking and serving you in the future. So uh, keep an eye out for our emails. Uh, look for us in your junk or spam folder if you do not find us um, you know, in your general inbox. And uh, we'll be in touch soon. So thank you so much, everybody. Thanks, guys. See you soon. Bye-bye.